This episode is a continuation of my episode 3. Well, I'm sure all of you are quite happy in as far as the output is concerned, but are confused as to how we got the output. What is the logic behind it? If you really have to understand the reason behind the output, firstly, you need to understand how printf really works. Let's understand how printf works. Let's consider this printf state. Well, it's not a complete program. Let me have the complete program. When I'll execute this program, the output that I'm going to get is this. Well, there is nothing new in the output. But what I want you to understand is the difference between the output of the printf and the return type of the printf. Please understand what you're seeing there is printf's output. The return type of printf happens to be an integer. Let me explain. Can you count the number of symbols that printf has sent to the output screen? I'll count it for you. H, E, L, L, O, space, A, B, C, apostrophe, I, A, N, S, and a slash N. A total of 15 symbols is what this printf has printed on the output screen. Of course, slash n is an escape sequence and it might not be a printed element there. But certainly, if you'll ask me how many symbols has the printf sent to the output screen, it's a total of 15 symbols. And in fact, 15 happens to be the return type of printf. What it means is that this particular printf statement that I have internally, I would look at this printf statement as 15. Can we utilize this 15? Why not? Maybe all these days you have not used it. I would certainly use this 15. I can store it inside a integer variable a like this. And not just that, I can also print it for your reference this way. Well, when I'll execute this program, this is the output that we are getting. The very fact that we are getting the output as 15 happens to be the proof that printf indeed returned an integer 15. Let us consider this program. It is not a new program. I'm sure all of you know as to what the output of this would be. Let us check the output. Yes, there are two outputs because we have two printf statements. While the first printf statement prints hello abcns and returns 15, that 15 is collected in the variable a and hence the second printf is printing that value as 15. Hope now all of you understand that the return type of printf is an integer. I know there are a few keen observers here who would already have started to wonder about this second printf. Yes, every printf's return type is an integer. While the first printf has returned 15, the second printf also is returning an integer. You are not collecting it in any integer variable. If you want me to collect it, I can always collect it in a variable b, which is of type int, like this. And not just that, I can as well print it for you, like this. I want you to guess the output of this and send your guess as a comment for this video. The purpose of creation of this video was to tell you the logic behind the output of the previous video. Let me have that previous program back on the screen. Now, in this program, there is a printf. Obviously, this printf, when executed, is going to print hello abcns on the output screen. Not just that, this printf, you know, effectively internally means 15 and 15 is a non-zero integer which effectively internally means true and not of true happens to be false so this not of true would be treated as false and whenever the condition is false 
control goes to the else part and would also print hello spider-man that is the reason why in the last program you had got the output as both hello abcn as well as hello spider-man hope you've been able to understand the logic behind the previous program there were a few questions that were sent across to me like what if we have multiple statements in the if block and the else block would this technique still work and secondly whatever i am teaching you using c as a programming language would the same hold good for java as well if you need to know the answers to these questions watch my next video